hey, I'm sending this out as a test for everybody and see how this works since I'll be doing this by myself most of the time. I'm trying to get some of my guys down to help me. So this is the first video I'm actually putting out there. <clears throat> and I'm not very tech savvy. So I'm going to be doing some uh, online teaching. I'm going to be recording it. Uh, one of my friends uh, who works uh, for a gym said they tried to live stream theirs and they only got a couple of people. So I thought I'd record the sessions and that way uh, you can uh, look at them at your own leisure. <clears throat> I'm going to be doing the uh, Tai Chi. And uh, for my advanced students, I'll take it from where we left off, maybe go through it a little bit, uh, the beginning of it, and try to do it uh, at different angles, you know, a front angle and a side angle. And then um, from there, uh, we'll see where it goes. Uh, I'll contact everybody with the website that you guys can uh, reach me at. Most of you have my phone, and you can always text me if you have any questions or whatnot. Um, as far as uh, the combat goes, I'll do some different things. I'm, I'm looking forward to maybe uh, showing a little work with the ball. Uh, you know, guys know how much I uh, like that. Uh, hopefully, I can find a tennis ball and some rope somewhere and uh, <clears throat> show you some of the techniques uh, that I would like you to start training with and go through, uh, you know, some of the uh, practical application and uh, see what you guys could do with that at home as well. But most likely, the combat will be beginning stuff, you know, we'll do the seven count punching and whatnot, and I'll build from there, you know, the idea of where the chops are coming from and how we're going to be chopping and holding the fist, stuff like that there. I know the Tai Chi is a big one. I want to keep everybody moving with that. As well, I may do some uh, tapes as I get more comfortable with this. I don't even know if this is recording now or not, um, <clears throat> on philosophy, and, uh, you know, uh, give you guys something to do while you're sitting around at home. Philosophy, uh, to me, means uh, searching for the truth. I know there's a lot of philosophy and a lot of professors and a lot of things that are out there that are all built on something. Um, but uh, searching for the truth is what philosophy really means for me. And that's where uh, the warrior's path comes in. You know, the uh, play with God, the warrior's path. Uh, anything that takes finding the truth uh, is a bit of a war a bit of combat to get to the truth, to your own truth, <clears throat> whatever that may be. So when I say that I'll be talking about philosophy, it's going to be uh, talking about different ways of approaching different things, different outlooks uh, that hopefully will help you uh, understand yourself and the world around you better. I know there's a lot going on right now uh, with uh, the virus and uh, people uh, getting a little nervous about it. Uh, I'm out there on the front line because I work in the grocery business, so I'm at ground zero. So I get to see all the craziness. But uh, I tend to view everything as opportunity. Uh, opportunity to grow, opportunity to understand oneself and the world we live in better. <clears throat> when I talk about opportunity, um, what I've learned from this is that I really, with all the survival techniques that I teach, uh, you know, I'm a survivalist, I like teaching about survival, this kind of took me off guard. And I found uh, that there was a still a lot more for me to learn and for better, uh, to better prepare for it. So next time uh, this comes around and I start talking more about survival and whatnot, I think uh, what I'm gonna take away from this is how to be better prepared. This is, Handling, you know, I think things are being handled pretty well for the most part. Uh, it may get a little bit worse. We may have a complete shutdown on everything uh, just to keep everybody home. But uh, it's, it's a good test point, I think. It's kind of like uh, we as a world being injected with a virus uh, to pledge or to, to purge ourselves and uh, to pledge ourselves to who and what we are as far as uh, renewing, coming out new. You know, after you get a cold or something of that nature, you usually feel better after it uh, because you're getting rid of all the bad stuff inside you. At least, you know, that's how most people feel. And that's how I kind of look at this, uh, to be better prepared for it, to have a better understanding. If 
this was something that was really bad, would we as an individual or as a whole really be ready for it? Say, uh, like the grid shuts down for eight months to a year or even longer, no electricity. <clears throat> and I think now people could get a better picture of what that would be about or what that would be like. Or if it was a disease that was killing people within a couple of days, how would we handle that? These were the things that I never really thought about that much and come to find that I wasn't as prepared as I thought I was. And I could be better prepared as an individual, handle it better. When I talked about survival, the, the thing that's always interests me about survival has uh, not really for myself, if for myself, it was to try to be as comfortable as possible in a survival situation. You know, I, I like comfort, but more so for the people I love and care about. And uh, I really, really wasn't ready for that, uh, for this small test, I believe, for something that will possibly happen in our lifetime, more than likely in our children's lifetime. And uh, skills, how to group together, how to organize, uh, how to be uh, better functioning through it all uh, is things that I think I have to sharpen. At my school, I was going or was in the process of starting a survival courses there. The first one was going to be on uh, medical, you know, uh, how to fix a broken leg or how to tell if, uh, you know, somebody's bleeding internally uh, from, from a Band-Aid to pulling out a splinter. It was gonna cover a lot of ground. And then I was gonna go into more things, you know, how to make a fire, you know, uh, how to uh, tell good food from bad food, how to forage and whatnot, go deeper and deeper into it, you know, how to uh, tie a knot. And um, <clears throat> I thought it would have been an interesting course. And I'm still going to do that. But now I think uh, the people that are gonna be a part of that, whoever will be a part of it, are gonna take it a little bit more seriously. And I could see that on a shutdown and where things are where they are now, we're still controlled. A real shutdown would be when, um, you know, uh, the government loses control and they have to just take care of their own and the people are just out to fend for themselves. That's chaos. So um, this gave me a window into that as far as not being really prepared for and not even really being prepared for what's happening right now. So I would like everybody to calm down a little bit and look at this as an opportunity to regroup your thoughts, uh, to regroup yourself, uh, to um, sharpen your skill sets. My skill set, of course, has always been in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Uh, there are other people that are part of my group that have other skill sets and it's great to bring all these people together and all learn from one another and i think when this settles that's going to be an important part of the programs that uh, i will be offering through systems within systems so again <clears throat> view this as an opportunity to better oneself i view everything as an opportunity uh, where I am, what I'm doing, uh, the bad things that happen in our lives. I view it as an opportunity to grow and learn. That's one of the ways that I get through an awful lot of things. And um, when uh, this gets uh, sent out, um, you know, uh, I'll, I'll think that you can contact me on systemswithinsystems.com. Uh, I'm not sure. I'll have to ask uh, Ben and Jen about that where people can reach out to. And if you have any questions and whatnot, even as I start to put out these videos, uh, write in and ask some questions. And if uh, the videos, if you have something on the video or something that you don't really understand, uh, you can write in and ask that as well. Um, I think that's where I'm heading. So this first video here that everybody, you, all you guys are seeing, is just a test for me. See if I can get it out there see if I'm handling this right and whatnot, okay? And then uh, I may do some, you have some questions on philosophy, like uh, what is the meaning of life? <laughs> Believe it or not, I get that question often. The answer I like to borrow from a
great speaker, uh, Joseph Campbell, uh, you bring meaning to it. So see everything as opportunity and hopefully this reaches out to everybody and uh, I'll soon be making some videos uh, philosophically and with the combat and the Tai Chi. All right. Okay. See you soon. Good luck, everybody. Bye-bye.